Hi, good, good morning. morning. If anybody should be excited about the increase in IRS agents, it should be Donald Trump. He has been waiting for years patiently <laughs> for them to complete his audit. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that's where you were going. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I. It, it is just hard to. Every day is a new low for Republicans, right? I mean, it it, it just is. We are at such a dangerous boiling point, and and you know this whole. Uh, okay. I, your thoughts on your former party. I feel like it died in Wyoming. I mean, this is what Jen. it looks like when people are grasping at straws and restaurants no longer have straws. I mean, yeah. um, they will say and do anything to hold on to power. They see the polling in Pennsylvania and Ohio yeah. uh, and Florida and elsewhere uh, and, and, you know, the uh, in Wisconsin um, that shows Democrats ahead in the Senate races. Um, they see these close special elections that shouldn't be close. Yeah. Um, and they will do anything to turn the tide. Yeah. This one, uh, this cannot happen to a nicer guy. Ron Johnson, privately flustered and worried about the effectiveness of Democratic attacks on him as a wealthy elitist who uses his political office to enrich himself. That may be because he's a wealthy elitist who uses yeah. his political Okay. That's um, right. yeah. yeah. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes is uh, leading by seven points in Wisconsin. It, it, I mean, I think you're right. I smell panic in the GOP. And also, yeah, it there's, doesn't smell good. And also, the polling, just not just generically for Democrats, but since Roe, I mean, is right. really, I think, making Republicans panic. And I don't know why they thought forced birth would be popular. Do you? Uh, no, maybe because they've watched too much of uh, Hulu's Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Um, but um, you know, this is the this is what was going to happen all along. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, they they went for broke. They did this, and by the way, this will continue if Democrats don't uh, keep their majorities. Um, they will continue to swipe at the very foundations of this country, including our democracy. If people think uh, the you know removal of Roe protections um, was bad, just wait until you see a Supreme Court emboldened by a conservative election win. Yeah. And don't forget, who we elect in 2022 will be in charge of the election in 2024. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carl, I, you know, they keep saying, they keep telling us, oh, you know, voters like authenticity and some liberals seem out of touch. Uh, Dr. Oz owns eight more homes than he claimed yes. at a campaign stop last weekend. He said he owns two. He owns 10. He right. said, legitimately, I own two houses. I'm not sure how you illegitimately own houses, but he said, uh, well, one I of mean, them we're building a very on special Dr. Oz to find out. Yeah. <laughs> He said one of them we're building on, and the other ones I rent. Well, he means he rents them out, but mm -hmm. he owns them. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm pretty sure he rents 10 homes. It's yeah. like his own personal Airbnb. <laughs> God. Yeah, but I mean, so he's worth like $100 million. He gets the name of supermarkets wrong because he doesn't live in Pennsylvania, right? He calls it crudite. <laughs> I love John Fetterman just standing there with a thing called, said, with veggie tray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. and he's, uh, I guess, shopping at Wegmans and yeah, yeah, uh, it's you know. Wegmans for God's sake. I'm from back east. It's Wegmans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but I, you know, it's just it's amazing. Not just Tim Ryan. I'm looking at Val Demings looking at uh, I mean, these Senate races are looking good. The generic is looking good. And I, I feel like we're only at the tip of the iceberg still on January 6th and this espionage esp uh, investigation, yeah. don't you think? I do. And, you know, I, I always caution my fellow Democrats when polling looks good, it's time to double down. It's yes. not time to take right. the foot off the accelerator. And there are two metaphors right there that don't mix. No, they do uh, not, Carl. Uh, but I always play, um, you know, cards while driving. Um, <laughs> so as I say around every election day, like if you can wake up the day after the election without feeling exhausted, uh, without feeling the need to sleep in, you haven't done enough. Yeah. Um, this is not just about the election. This is about preserving our democracy and the rule of law. Um, and so if you can knock doors, go knock doors. If you can make calls, make calls, write postcards, give money, do whatever you can to make sure that the good guys win here. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you know what I've always said, that they will come for marriage equality, right? When I find someone, Absolutely. you know, yeah. yeah. Is now a good time for a bombshell? I have a girlfriend. Yes. <laughs>
Uh oh. Yes. I dropped that bomb on Carl, I decided. You did? Yeah. Because that's she's good news. She's, she's coming to DC. That's the special guest that's coming to DC with me. Stephanie is no longer a lonely spinster. <laughs> Look at the reaction on Carl. It's like he's like stunned. Like yeah. his eyes are like, oh I'm my god. I'm very happy. Oh my god. I decided to come out to Carl. <laughs> No, well, because you know, because I'm having a bad a time. bad life. Right, that's when marriage quality will be right. overturned. Yep. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just warning you, Carl, that you know your marriage. Maybe you shouldn't have also in danger, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, she's coming to meet my mom, so it's big. It's big. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to DC with me. You get to meet her. Okay. So, Carl. <laughs> no, it's just because I think we never thought Roe, and I'm just saying, it, it, marriage equality. You name it. They're coming for contraceptives. They're coming for huh? Birth control, yeah. the ability to even have a relationship if you're LGBTQ, yeah. Yeah. whether or not you're married. Right. Um, you know, this is, you've got people now like Marjorie Taylor Greene, members of Congress who are saying, uh, so what if I'm a Christian nationalist? Yeah, so what? It's a big problem. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm having going out of business sale, by the way, on my lonely spinster jokes. If anyone would like to, can we put those on Patreon? Can we, my lonely single loser spinster. jokes, can we... I, I d don't tell them yet. We need, to, still we early. need to raise money. Yeah. It's still early. <laughs> don't have That's faith. True. Could you take your organ out for me, please, if history is any guide? <laughs> I will f*** this up. Could you please, listeners, erect a prayer altar that I don't f*** this up? Okay, please and thank you. Carl, um, yeah, this Secret Service thing, I, I don't know, I'm missing who tweeted this. Um, well, no wonder the Secret Service had to delete their text. They knew Pelosi could have been murdered two days before the attack on the Capitol and didn't warn Pelosi, Capitol Police, the FBI, top security of the world, or anyone else. Um, I, are they going to get away with this? I mean, if these texts are gone, it is so clear what happened here, right? Yeah. Uh, I certainly hope they don't. You know, this is not to say that everybody in the Secret Service is bad. They're certainly not. Right. Um, they're keeping many members of, uh, you know, uh, they're keeping many in the administration safe as we speak. So, but we do need to know who those bad apples are. Yeah. Um, so I hope that they're able to turn something out of this uh, because it's deeply unnerving at the very least. Yeah. Um, and, you know, highly suspect. Well, and it seems that, what's his name, Kufari? I mean, he's not cooperating. He won't let his employees cooperate. I just, what's your take on how this should be handled at this point? I think it's time for removal. I mean, Malcolm you Nance, know? I remember, told us, like, they will find the texts just don't go away. But as Travis was saying, if anyone can make them go away, it would be the Secret Service. Like, that's where you go yeah. if you, you Sure, know. but that, well, we don't know how many, uh, you know, officers are involved here, but... It would require that none of them took screen grabs or anything else, right? Right. Um, and that those don't end up somewhere. Yeah. That somebody wasn't, you know, sinking with the cloud somewhere. Yeah. So uh, I think Malcolm's right. Like, it's very difficult when you've got a large number of people texting together to, uh, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we shall see. Um, okay, so when you come out in the orange jumpsuit to open the show in Sexy Liberal D.C. with the Donald Trump wig, can I, like, shoot you with a fake tranquilizer dart? Like, let's figure out a skit that will make this more. Oh, boy. What if he's already in prison by September 10th? We have so many things to think about before. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a phone call from jail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Maybe we'll roll you out in, like, a little, you know, like a Hannibal Lecter thing or something. <laughs> Where are we going to And get I'll do my Jody Foster. What? We don't, you know, people are going to wonder what's going to happen. The only way they can find out is by going. Exactly. <laughs> and tickets are available at sexyliberal.com. Please. And Ding. thank you. Oh, my God. Glenn Kirshner on panel and some more surprises to come. Uh, Carl Frisch, who was always a delight. Thank you, honey. I'll see you September 10th. All right. Ow, 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 ow,